Hi, this is just a follow up on my previous video that I grind the both side of the dovetail on the cross slide. So I said um, I'm gonna do another video for grinding the top part. So for the top part, I'm gonna only grind this side, the side that it sits in front. Basically, at this end, the shim contact the dovetail is, is the link between the two dovetails, so it doesn't really need to be grinded. So for doing this project, um, what I'm gonna do, I need somehow to lock the top slide uh, this way and then rise up my rail and do the same method to grind the dovetail so what I've done here just clamp the top part and I only gonna grind one face as I said right now the top part is in line with the rail and what I notice at this corner is a little bit is off so is everywhere is zero but when I reach this end it comes toward fourth of tenth of a mil so I applied some super glue at the side this is the glue and also print two plastic parts with my 3d printer over here so what I'm gonna till it's get dry the super glue and I basically I give it a little bit of time so the super glue can get tacky and stick and I'm gonna rise my rail and basically start to grind right now just rise up I place the block under the rail so rise it up so again check it to in, to see if it's in line with the edge square um, this time I had a little bit of issue with it I couldn't get it perfectly in line but the misalignment is about 100 of a mil now let's start to grind the top part right this is the part I mean the dovetail grinder and just want to show you how quickly I, I changed the pads on the this part so what I usually do this is another thing that I like to mention I apply some heat so to make the part heat it up and what this does quickly the super glue I can remove the pads and also the super glue from the part and also something else I like to mention is is basically I could put make my whole part from the aluminium but I made the grinder bit from this from the mild steel because easier to stick the sandpaper pads on it with the super glue
after done a few minutes of grinding and the surface is really good and I can feel I can feel the same amount of contact everywhere now I'm gonna remove the part and put it on to see if I manage to get any difference I put some level of the valve grinding paste or basically grinding paste on the dovetail also place back the shim and now what I'm gonna do is just a little bit doing it La doing a little bit of lapping Okay, now after doing this much work, and if you look at this corner, this line, uh, all the way to the end, you realize I literally grind maybe about one mil one millimeter, and I don't like the way it looks. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just file it to just make it a little bit straight, and. Also, I'm gonna make a little bit of chamfer by the file, so make this line looks a little bit better. So now it's in line and um, I'll put a little bit of chamfer on these edges so a little bit looks better. Right now I finished the grinding, I finished the lapping, it seems good. Now let's I'll put the dial on again. zero repeat oh sorry just touch the cross slide all right let me put it on zero and what I'm trying to show you here is the edge square is still intact is in the same place and right now the dial is the, at the bottom side and let's dial in to the zero and what I'm gonna do just gonna lock my carriage on the bed so it doesn't move around everything is rock solid no movement at all and all right just let me put this on zero oops come on come on all right it's on zero and let's crank in and see
is about one one hundred of a mil, and the cross slide all the way is at the end. And I think I nailed it. <laughs> Very happy with the result. What I'm trying to show you is the edge. The, these two edge is perfectly lined up before it was a lot more gap between the dovetail male and female side now is perfectly they are laying top of each other side of each other all right and this is at the and this is the end of the video if you got something from this video please give me a like leave me a comment share it and if you are new to the channel consider to subscribe thanks for watching